So to finish up this figure, um, I'm going to do the fur cuffs. So I've already drawn the direction of the cuffs. See here that some of them, the top ones are gonna point up and then I'm imagining I'm going around the ball. So see how they curve. And it's just a guide. <clears throat> We're gonna add the actual hair look with our markers and color pencil. So I'll start here with the base color, coloring that all in, but also working with the tip so that I make it fan out and hairy as if it's actual hair. It's a long hair, so I am showing that it extends out. So that's my first step, to first do the base color. Then I'm gonna use my color pencil and add more color to it. And that way I can also use my blender marker to give it more of that hairy look. Then it also has that taupe color in it. So I wanna add some highlights of the taupe Just need to get a point on this one. And then I'll also add white as well. So getting a point, <clears throat> adding the hairs. Again, going around the ball, random directions, all different ways. So here I've added the other color pencil and also the um, tan and the white. Actually, I haven't added the white, the pink. So the white, I'll take my paint marker, fine point paint marker, and also add in the hairs. Because this sample reference that I'm working from also has white highlights along with this taupey color. Okay, so it's random. And now the final step is the shading. Remember, we still need it to look like it has a cylinder shape to it. So I would shade in a taupey color as well, or either a gray. I think I'll use the taupey color. Um, now, some of the areas that are dark and shaded are the outer parts, just like hair. So the outer parts, I wanna get, or if it's overlapping, I wanna shade in those areas. So I've added just a touch of shading so it doesn't look too flat where it overlaps next to the jacket and some of the outer edges. So now I can choose to not ink this outline or to ink the outline. I choose not to go and ink, like here I've inked the outline of the garment. But I think with the fur, if anything, if you wanted to go back with your pencil and reshape some things, but I don't think I would use an ink pen to outline it. I would leave it hairy like that. 